Pride is an LGBTQ plus event. There's a lot of letters there, and often Pride and its sponsors only focus on the G, often gay men with six packs. But there's a lot of other letters there that deserve our attention. For example, T for trans. I've got a lot of trans friends at the minute who feel really attacked, feel really unsafe. They feel really attacked by the right wing press. They feel more attacked by my mum's friend, Linda. She. <laughs> She's the sort of person who says, a woman's place is in the home, and then spends 90% of her time in all bar one. <laughs> She's a basic bitch. And she, um... She said to me once, she said, trans people are unnatural, whilst eating a punnet of seedless grapes, the irony of which did not pass me by. <laughs> She had a go at me for painting my nails. I paint my nails now. I do it for two reasons. One, I like the colour. Also, I bite my fingernails because they're delicious. And when I paint them, it stops you from biting them. It's the only thing that seems to have worked. And she said, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't paint your nails. And I said, why is that, Linda? And she said, well, it's an essential part of being a woman, isn't it, wearing makeup? I said, I'm, I'm sorry, do you think your husband Kevin's going to see this, get confused and try and fuck me? Is that the issue? <laughs> Extraordinary, a little change like that, the amount of comments you got. Of course I expected some, but not as many as I got. I also wear this coat in the winter months. Oh, I mean, I, <laughs> I want to fuck myself right now. That is, um, thank you. Yes, it's, um, um, it's a faux fur, it's a faux fur. I'm aware it's a ridiculous thing to put on, but I didn't expect the amount of comments. I expected some. My favourite was in Liverpool. I had just done a gig at the Slaughterhouse Comedy Club, which is a brilliant comedy club in Liverpool. I was walking back to the hotel, a group of lads walked past me, and one of them went, Hey, mate, Pat Butcher called. She wants a code back. <laughs> comedian I deal with hecklers all of the time so I went back with a really witty response I went sh shut up stupid prick I was so pleased with it so smart so in the moment well done Joe I think what Linda and what a lot of people get confused about with trans people is the difference between sex and gender sex is your XX XY chromosome that's what you're born with not lots you can do about it gender is what's put on top by society and culture all of the things that we take for granted things like women wear skirts and men ride horses and punch dogs all of the things that we take for granted <laughs> And I understand that women get the thick end of this wedge. The narrow criteria in which women are expected to dress and behave is very restrictive. This was made clear to me in a WhatsApp group of lads that I'm in, in which this was posted recently. This is build a babe. You have to construct a woman out of these four categories. The face, the boobs, the butt, the legs. No, the personality or how much she reminds you of mother. None of that. <laughs> This was debated more than most wars. They went with the girl second in, I think, the two girls on the far right for the boobs and bum, and then the girl second in on the legs. I did a bit of photoshopping. Yeah, she's pretty fit. I mean, <laughs> not my type. I'd change one thing and I'd be happy, but each to their own. <laughs> each to their own. It's quite daunting, that size.